during the Clinton administration, you know, there was no debt at all. I mean, it was gone. Mm -hmm. And then during eight years of Bush, I really, I really feel like that's the problem, was the almost problem, an untenable situation for the president to. But the problem for the president is he inherited a, clearly a massive hospital. Yes, pass. but let's not forget that that he inherited that. By the way, I'm not forgetting it, but okay. let's also not forget that the situation has got worse despite the stimulus package that was How supposed... do you make a deal with people that don't want to make a deal? Yeah, but he brought in a stimulus pa package which clearly hasn't been working. I mean, the, the economy is continuing to tank. Now... Are you accidentally doing your John Boehner interview? <laughs> because... <laughs> I'm interested in your views. You're a smart... Really? I'll you're tell you why. my views about politics. Yes, because you're a smart businesswoman. Honey, if from... I... Well, of course. You are. You're a businesswoman. That. You're I'm very, like a, you're I'm like a straight Susie Orman. I'm like a heterosexual Susie Orman. I'll take it. Okay. You can have it. It's easier than you have any idea, really. You can have it, really, in like 20 minutes. Let's wrap this up, shall we? Why are you shy about being serious about the economy? Because I don't think Why do you people... find it so absurd that I would ask you? I actually do a lot of political humor. I do more now probably than I ever have. Because, you know, these politicians, they have quotes. They're the gift that keeps on giving. Sometimes I'll just go up on stage and just read the quotes and then see what material comes to me. And sometimes it's just there in the quotes. Are the Tea Party characters a particular gift? Are you praying comedy? the gay away? <laughs> because, you know what? Um, <laughs> I'm obsessed with uh, Marcus Bachman's clinic, you know, his reparative therapy mm -hmm. clinic where he tries to de-gay people. For me, that was called high school, and it doesn't work. <laughs> I tried to get those boys in musicals to, you know, put it in my no-no place. Then we're not going to delay for that, right? That's harmless. This is live. Everything's just going straight out. Perfect. You can say whatever you like. It. You want I to get yourself say... thrown off television? Keep going. Well, I want to get you thrown off. You That's try... really my goal. Well, you'd probably be very popular if you did that. <laughs> I'm sure I can somehow put you in a position, I'd sexual prefer... or otherwise, where you get fired tonight. I'm sure you could. Okay. Would you want to do that? I think it'd be fun. It'd be newsworthy. It'd be all over the blogosphere. And yeah, people would prefer, follow prefer, me on Twitter. I prefer what you Kathy said at the start Griffin. of the interview. When Which we, was? Well, the little pre thing saying you want to get Anderson fired. That seems a much more uh, well, that's lofty every, aspiration. It's to a make. great aspiration. And every single January 1st. You try hard. I've, I'm upset if he still has his job. <laughs> that's my goal. That January 1st, he's crying in my hotel room for other reasons. And also because he got fired. <laughs> it is the most dangerous time of Anderson's life, that New Year's Eve thing you do. I hope so. You can see the terror in his eyes. Good. I'm there to instill it. I take that job way too seriously. I think of all kinds of fun and exciting ways to make him sweat. And I'm very flattered that he says he sweats more with me that night than in any war zone. Because I'm a pretty lady and I won't apologize. Do you worry yes. about being taken seriously? No. You gonna fill the gap or am I? <laughs> Sit down. No. I'm Sit down. What are you doing? I'm going to climb over the oh table. Oh, my God. What's going on? Can you... What are you... Oh, my good God. What is happening here? That's called a commercial bumper. You're going to use that all weekend.